Nothing but big things. Check the hit list. How we twist shit. What change was the name? Aim. Nothing but big things. Check the hit list. How we twist shit. What change was the name? Nothing but big things. Check the hit list. How we twist shit. What change was the name? Aim. Nothing but big things. Check the hit list. How we twist shit. What change was the name? Aim. Nothing but big things. Check the hit list. How we twist shit. What change was the name? Aim. Nothing but big things. Check the hit list. We still here. You rockin' with the best, 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 the 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 best, 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 You rockin' with the bad boy. Bad boy. Welcome everyone back to another edition of Friday Night Smackdown. We are two weeks away from Judgment Day. A Smackdown sold out here tonight comes from Monterrey, Mexico. We've got a stacked card so let's get straight into tonight's action. And Smackdown kicks off here tonight with the one and only Intercontinental Champion Ricochet. And of course, Johnny Gargano has been calling out Ricochet over the last couple of weeks. Ricochet finally had enough of Johnny Gargano, went to WWE management, said he accepted Johnny Gargano's challenge for a title match at Judgment Day. So at Judgment Day, two weeks to, or a week from Sunday, Ricochet will defend the Intercontinental Championship against Johnny Wrestling. As you see, the one and only now in the ring. Of course, Johnny Gargano has opponent at Judgment Day, but tonight he's in action against someone else, a technical master in Drew Gulak. And if Ricochet, if Gulak is able to pick up a win over Ricochet here tonight, if Ricochet is able to successfully defend against Johnny Gargano surely this will put Rick, or Drew Gulak at the top of the line as we here we see Drew Gulak making his way down to the ring and as I was saying the submission wrestling master if Gulak is able to get a win over the current Intercontinental Championship after Johnny Gargano's match at Judgment Day, if Ricochet somehow retains, he probably Gulak probably puts himself into line for future title shot. Even if Gargano does get a victory over Ricochet, a win over the current Intercontinental Championship would push Drew Gulak higher up that list. So this match very important for Drew Gulak, also very important for Ricochet, wanting to build the momentum. Going into that big title defense against Gargano at Judgment Day. But this match is getting ready to go underway. The bell has rung. And Ricochet going straight for Gulak, punching the face. And now just blue thunder bomb by Ricochet taking Gulak down early. And Ricochet going straight for Gulak, not wasting any time. Planting him with a DDT, nipping up. And a springboard moonsault by Ricochet connecting. And now Ricochet going up top early. Calling Gulak to his feet, of course. Ricochet, high, one of the best high flyers in professional wrestling with the Hurricane Rana. And a big kick to the spine of Gulak. Goes for the cover. One. Count. Drew Gulak kicking out a one. Ricochet going at. Or, or, uh, Gulak early it's going to take a lot to put away someone like Drew Gulak though. a lot more offense I should say and oh who Johnny Gargano's music is playing you see the Titans run Johnny Gargano Ricochet's opponent for Judgment Day distract, trying to cause distraction 
Where is he? Where is Gargano? Is it just his music playing as a distraction? Oh, have Rick shit. Don't turn around. Gargano in the ring. Steel chair shot. Steel chair shot. And the referee, he didn't see the chair shot. But he... He was distracted by the music. Gulak crawls over for the cover. And a ricochet kicks out Johnny Gargano. That damn Johnny Gargano. He's called out Ricochet the past couple of weeks. Ricochet finally accepts the challenge. And now Gargano attacking Ricochet mid-match with that chair shot. And that has turned the tide as Drew Gulak locking up. Going to work on Ricochet, taking out the legs. The high-flying ability. And Johnny Gargano sending a message to Ricochet. And, but Ricochet, he needs to clear his mind of Johnny Gargano. He can't think about Judgment Day. He can't think of getting revenge on that Johnny Gargano for that care show. He needs to focus on Drew Gulak because Drew Gulak is a torture machine. He's a submission master as we see with that torture rack. And Ricochet fighting out with those elbows. And now chops boot to the midsection. Up on the shoulders now. And oh, that driver driving. Gulak down to the mat, goes for cover, one, two. Two count, Drew Gulak kicks out. Picking up Gulak now is Ricochet. Up on the shoulders once again, hooking the leg, spinning the man, driving him down. And now Ricochet up to the top rope. 6.30 sent on, connects. Center of the ring, hook of the leg, one, two. And Drew gets the shoulder up at two. And now Gulak going to work on the arm. And a big follow slam bridging by Gulak. And a big chop. And an Irish whip into the corner and a knee to the back of Ricochet. And now Gulak going to the no-fly zone, as he likes to call it, going for the high risk. And a big drop kick off the top from Gulak. And now using the ropes, stomp away. And now again stomping away is Gulak and a big punch butterfly suplex connects from Gulak ricochet in the continental champion in trouble of course his opponent from judgment day Johnny Gargano got involved and Gulak Gulak locked in will ricochet submit that dragon sleeper the Gulak Is he going? Is Ricochet going to tap? No, he found his way out. Goes for the Ricochet. Er, Gulak goes for the cover on Ricochet. Though. One, two, three. Not enough to make Ricochet submit, but Drew Gulak may have done enough to put Ricochet out for the count. Gets the three count, and Drew Gulak picks up a big three count over the Intercontinental Champion. But there will be an asterisk next to that because of the actions of Johnny Gargano. But Drew Gulak victorious over Ricochet. And SmackDown continues on with a match that we were supposed to to get last week because the actions of Candice LeRae the match never got underway but Raquel Gonzalez will go one on one with the Smackdown Women's Champion Io Shirai and I'll talk a bit more about why this match never got underway and about Candice LeRae in a moment but yeah Raquel Gonzalez was originally scheduled to take on Io Shirai last week of course that match never got underway so this is the first time we have seen Raquel here on SmackDown, and Raquel, a fantastic performer, kind of like Drew Gulak, 
in the last match, looking to pick up a win over the SmackDown Women's Champion, just like Gulak got a win over the Intercontinental Champion. This could be a launching point for Raquel, and this could put her in line for a future championship match. But here comes the current reigning SmackDown Women's Champion, the Queen of the Sky, EO Shirai. And we see EO with the championship belt. Last week, as she was making her entrance for her matchup against Raquel, Candice LeRae attacked EO from behind, and a big brawl broke loose here in, on SmackDown at the ringside area. And in the ring, that brawl then resulted in the match never getting underway. EO Shirai went to SmackDown. Uh, or not WWE management instead of Candice LeRae wants a shot at the Smackdown Women's Championship she's got it, make it official and it has been Candice LeRae, Io Shirai Smackdown Women's title at Judgment Day and if Candice LeRae gets involved in this matchup tonight she will not receive her championship matchup so this match should stay one on one, no interference from Candice because if she does interfere, she will not receive a SmackDown Women's Championship match at Judgment Day. As Raquel Gonzalez looking to do Candice a favor by taking out Io Shirai before Judgment Day, a big powerhouse in the women's division here on SmackDown, just throwing Io around, and now Raquel going to the second rope. And a big splash off. I'm just calling Eo to her feet, saying, Get up. And I was working over Eo Shirai. But Eo gets out of it, escapes. Kick to the head by Raquel and now Raquel. Puts Eo up on her shoulders and a big electric chair drop. Hook of the leg, going for cover. One. And Candace and Riggs got to be backstage watching on and enjoying what she's seen so far as Raquel Gonzalez in complete control, just wearing away at the SmackDown Women's Champion. As Raquel hits the ropes, big boot to the head of Eo. And now that torture rack locked in, just torturing the back, the spine of Eo Shiroi, just bending her in half. But Eo with the elbows trying to fight her way out of it. And Eo with those big strikes. And I'm going to work on the arm trying to take away the strength of Raquel Gonzalez. Now that knee to the spine. And Eo, now that she's in control, enjoying this one. Now stomping away Raquel and the Queen of the Sky looking to fly. As Eo calling Raquel to the top and that big cross body from the top rope. One. One count only. And stomping away with the kicks and now Raquel fighting back boot to the midsection. And another one. And now picking up Eo. But Eo reverses with that big BDT, planting Raquel Gonzalez. And a backdrop to the back of Raquel. And now Eo with the knees into the midsection. And now Eo up top. Misses with the elbow. The Queen of the Sky went high risk and missed. Now Raquel, big elbow by Gonzalez. And Eo fighting back though with the sweep of the leg. Raquel in trouble now. As Eo picking her up. But Raquel needs to the midsection, turning the tide once again. And a big toss across the ring, just throwing Eo around. Having her way with Eo is the big powerhouse Raquel Gonzalez. Now picking her up. Power bomb, hooking the legs. One, two, three, and Raquel Gonzalez just pinned 
the SmackDown Women's Champion and Candice Ray must be sitting backstage happy with the result of that one as Raquel picks up a big win over the SmackDown Women's Champion and EO disappointed she couldn't get the job done here tonight but she's got to find her way and focus at Sunday two week, in a week's time as Candice Ray is waiting. And it is main event time here on SmackDown. And as you've just seen, the Universal Title Tournament current standings. This man here tonight can go joint top with Matt Riddle with a victory. Of course, Kevin Owens currently sitting on six points. A win here puts him on nine. Level with Riddle. <clears throat> so can Kevin Owens get the job done again and go join the top with Matt Riddle? We'll have to wait and see. Of course, Universal Championship Tournament, Round Robin Tournament, every superstar faces each other once. Whoever has the most points at the end of the tournament will be crowned the Universal Champion. If it results in a tie, I don't know what will happen. It will probably result in those superstars who have tied at the top being facing off in a one-on-one -on -one then to crown the champion. Points are three points for a victory, pinfall, submission, count out, disqualification. As long as you get the victory, you get the three points. A draw is one point each and a loss is zero. You can get a draw from double count outs, double disqualifications and uh, time limit draws. Every match has a 10 minute time limit. Uh, you might be wondering, why doesn't a superstar just keep interfering in other opponents matches? So they both just get one point and then he can just win his matches and get three points. Well, because if someone from outside is, from someone interferes, they'll be kicked from the tournament. And if someone who's not in the tournament tries to interfere, they will be fired from SmackDown. So that is why Walter is making his way to the ring with none of his Imperium members by his side. That is why Walter goes through these matches alone and well it hasn't really been working out for the ring general Walder sitting on zero points yet to pick up a win yet to get a point on the board and I feel like this is a must win for Walder a defeat here practically rules him out of any chance of winning this tournament so this is must win for Walter. We're getting to must win stages. I haven't done the math, but if you fall nine points behind, I, it's going to be hard. I don't think he has enough time to make it up. So must win stages here for Walter. So the ring general needs to get a win, and it's not going to be easy because, as I mentioned, he's going against someone who has a chance to go joint at the top someone yet to lose here in Kevin Owens and there you see Owens, there you see Walter 10 minutes on the clock, the bell has rung and we are underway and Walter going straight to work with that reverse suplex onto Kevin Owens the ring general not wasting any time stomping away at Kevin Owens as I mentioned, we're kind of in the desperation stages for Walter. Walter needs a win to be in where any chance of winning this tournament. But that big knee missed. But Walter going straight back after Owens and just dropping him face first into the corner. It goes for cover early. One, two, and Kevin gets the shoulder up. Walter, he needed a performance like this. He needed a strong performance. But yeah, of course, he needs to get the win as he's clubbing away at Kevin Owens. But Kevin grabbing the foot now, Dragon Screw takes down Walter. And Kevin hits a big sent on onto Walter. Walter though back to his feet now, Owens grabbing him. Irish whip into the corner. And driving Walter head first into the turnbuckle. And Kevin Owens working away on Walter. Now, Walter.
Ryder in trouble as Owens goes to the leg, trying to wear down the big man, working over the knee, trying to take down the base of Walter, and again back to the knee. And again, going to work. And Owens hits the ropes. Sent on, but Walter got the knees up. Gets the block. And a big lariat. Lariat though. By Walter and the ring general appreciating his work. But that just allowed Kevin Owens to get back up. Walter wasted a bit of time. Kevin dragging Walter towards the center of the ring. Turning over the big man. Goes for a cover. One. Not even on one count. Walter just powering out. DDT plants Walter by Kevin Owens. Now Kevin picking up Walter. Hooking them. And a big slam. Walter in a bit of trouble here. Kevin Owens goes for a stunner. Hook of the leg. One, two, three. And Kevin Owens goes to nine points. And as you see, Kevin Owens joint top with Matt Riddle here in the Universal Champion. Kevin Owens and Walt. Beats Walter, nine points on the board. Walter still with zero. And I feel like Walter's chances of winning this tournament and becoming Universal Champion are over. But for Kevin Owens, it is the opposite story. And that is all we've got time for here on SmackDown. Tune in Monday for Raw. Tune in next Friday for more SmackDown. And we'll see you then.